Trending this morning, a local story getting national attention. A very well-known environmental activist, Erin Brockovich, speaking exclusively with WCNC, saying that her team is now investigating the Duke Energy coal ash, saying that this gig is up and something is going on up around Lake Norman. She's asking for more testing, basically saying that the statement that we've received from Duke Energy is very similar to what PG&E has told her in the past with other investigations. Duke Energy is denying these allegations, saying saying basically that they don't have the information that points to coal ash and this chemical that's at the point of focus is actually widely occurring all across the state. Here it is. It's a man-made metal used in industrial appli applications and unfortunately there's been no testing done to see if it is linked to cancer. And we've had several of these cancer clusters in and around that area, which is concerning obviously a lot of people and Aaron as well. This is the same chemical at the center of Brockovich's Hinkley lawsuit in California. You may also remember her from this movie back in 2000 with Julia Roberts. Here's what she told us exclusively last night. We just cannot, we cannot keep thinking that over decades there's been backdoor dumping, building on coal ash, putting that all out into the environment and possibly not think down the road, wow, that's a lot of cancers. Maybe that's not right. And speaking of these cancer clusters locally, let's look at just Huntersville, 50,000 people living there, 30 of them diagnosed with ocular melanoma. Those numbers do not add up, looking at how rare that type of cancer is. Over in Mooresville, thyroid cancer up three times higher. We're seeing so many testimonies from people that are also affected by this. Melinda saying that she just posted this picture, surgery of week one, saying that she got diagnosed with thyroid cancer in March of 2018. And then this is a crazy story here. Lori is saying that uh, she's lived in near the Marshall Steam Station where this is located for over 30 years. Her daughter was diagnosed in her mid-20s with cancer. Her mother was diagnosed with lymphoma during that same time of her daughter's diagnosis and about a year and a half prior she was also diagnosed with breast cancer. So it's definitely obviously a major concern. People want to know the answer if it's linked or not and that more testing needs to be done. Use our hashtag to join this conversation. Wake up CLT guys. God your heart just breaks hearing that for, for these people who have generation after generation getting cancer. And the thing is, you look at the numbers and it is undeniable something's that happening. Something's happening there. You, you got to ha almost have a third party investigate it and keep an eye on this because nobody wants to wants it on their hands. Right, of course. That makes sense, but they're clear. It's very something's clear happening. something is happening. Something's Just happening. what exactly it is, is really the question. Rachel, thanks.